Well, hello, my friends. Dave McDonald here, back with you today. Day number six, Quarantunes. Just drawing cartoons together to kind of have a fun activity to break up the isolation and having to stay at home by ourselves. So hopefully these videos are uh, a fun little break for you. Um, it says day six, but I'm only counting the weekdays. <laughs> so it's been more than six days. I should probably throw that off. I don't know how many days it's been. But we're having fun. We're drawing here every weekday. I usually upload these to my YouTube channel every uh, every weekday around three o'clock or so, give or take. Um, I've got to get warmed up here. Here's my little warm-up sheet. It reminds me to warm up because there's a <clears throat> fire there. <laughs> I like to use my warm-up shapes to just get me ready to draw. Just go ahead, grab your pencil, warm up with me by drawing some circles, maybe some squiggly lines. Just loosens up the old hand, gets us ready, right? Some shout outs today. Let's see, I've got a lot of family members that seem to enjoy drawing and so I thought I'd shout out today to Lorelei. Hey Lorelei, I hope you're doing well. <laughs> she's a great artist. I've, she's sent me some pictures of the cartoon drawings that we're doing. Of course, I've seen other drawings that she's done and she's really an amazing young artist. I'm, I'm happy that she's joining me here on our Corn Tunes videos. Awful proud of you, Uncle Dave's awful proud of you, Lorelei. Keep it up. And then today we're going to be talking again about my Westview peeps. You might wonder why I keep bringing up Westview Elementary. Well, I do a lot of teaching there, and I, I, I know a lot of the teachers and a lot of the students, and so I'm kind of missing them. I'm not kind of. I am missing them during this period. And so I thought I would just give a shout out to the principal there, Miss Wimmer. She's fantastic principal. Wow, very support, incredibly supportive of all the, the teachers and everything they need uh, to provide their students with. And obviously she, she loves her students. So, hey, Miss Wimmer. And Miss Barr, boy, oh boy, she's, she was my uh, knight in shining armor many days there, Miss Barr. <laughs> Talk about multitasking. Boy, Miss Barr can juggle three or four things at a time, and boy, does she get things done, too. Wow, she's a real deal. So, hey, Miss Barr, I hope you're doing well. All right, and speaking of Westview, their mascot is a whale. You know what the mascot is for your school, right? Usually it could be a, some kind of an animal or an, like a knight uh, or an animal like a bobcat or a wildcat. Well, at Westview, it's a whale, so I thought we would draw a whale today together using a simple shape to start with. And that simple shape, again, I like to, don't forget, I like to use a pencil to start off. And I like to draw these really faint, light shapes to get me started. All right, now I have to draw them dark enough so that you can see them. So sometimes I draw them darker than normal. But a rectangle or a square, this is, looks more like a rectangle, is what we're going to be starting off for to create this whale, all right? So what we're going to do is round off the corners like this and create that whale shape. And then the tail would be back here. Let's bring that tail up. And the tail can be based on two oval shapes that you just kind of put out there. And then you just kind of do this little number. And we'll create that whale, all right? He's going to have a, a big eyeball here. Maybe we'll erase this part here and give him a mouth at the bottom with a big smile. All right, and he's got, we'll do some erasing later, but he's definitely got a, Little fin there, one on the other side, a little shorter. All right, eyeball. When they've got the blowhole at the top, and we'll probably end up erasing that part there. But then they've got a spout that can shoot up the water. Right now, I didn't know this until recently when I started. Uh, teaching at Westview, but the whales, they, they travel in what are known as pods. 
And so at Westview, all of the teachers in the classrooms are divided up into pods. So like the fifth grade um, I worked in was one pod, many teachers. And so what that, what that means now, a, a pod is a group, right? So whales apparently swim around in pods and it's useful because it gives them strength in numbers, right? It's a, they kind of stick together to help one another. And it works in a school that way too. When you're learning in a school environment, when you feel like you're part of a pod or a family, and a pod is like a social group of whales, again. So when you're part of a family at a school, it, does, it just kind of makes it feel like you're never alone. And so it makes it a nice learning environment. Some waves here. All right, so he's on the top of the water here. So underneath the water, hmm, how about this? Oh, over here, let's draw a little circle. He's gonna have a, a little friend over here. A little circle and make some curved lines that come down here to another tail where we'll use our oval shapes, all right? And this character, this character here, I think what we'll do, it's okay, how about this? Some big eyeballs. Looking up there at his friend. Some eyelids, maybe some eyelashes. And what we're gonna do, what is this character? If I give him like a long horn on the top? A narwhal, you guessed it. <laughs> Let's see. Like that. All right, and we'll ink this too, so we'll have different, we'll finish it off. Over here we might have, just use your squiggly lines to create like seaweed, seabed. See how simple that is? Just something like that. And it's sandy on the bottom here, so just some tiny little, the indication of sand. All right. And let's ink this. We'll see if we have any time for any more characters. I'm not sure, but let's ink this character. This looks like fun. Okay, so I'm going to start up here with the water droplets. Is my pen running out of ink? I think it is. We'll have to fix that, won't we? Water droplets, okay. Let's get to inking our whale. Big smile, big bright eyeball. And again, we'll leave that little white spot. What does that, what does that do for us? That's right, it's a reflection. Across the top, down to the tail. Again, see how we use those simple shapes to get us started? Just gives us kind of a blueprint or a guide as we draw our character. See that square really isn't part of the drawing, but we did use it to get the shape of the whale, right? Let's see if this other one here has a little more ink in it. Hopefully so. A little bit, I'm probably going too fast with it. You think? <laughs> Maybe so, okay. So let's see, let's do our little squiggles of seaweed bed back here. This is a fun part. You just get to kind of make squiggly lines and it makes it look like seaweed down there. Ocean floor. And our narwhal. You could come up with some names for these characters. Maybe make a comic about them.
See how the narwhal is based on that circle shape? That's how we got the shape of the head. All right. I've never seen a, a real life narwhal. I don't even think I've seen one on TV, a real one. So I'll have to make that a goal for myself so that I can maybe see what they actually look like in real life. They probably don't have big eyes like this with eyelashes. <laughs> but hey, who knows? If I haven't seen one, how would I know, right? <laughs> Eyeballs here. Tiny little smile. Okay, how about some bubbles? That's pretty cool, isn't it? The narwhal. Let's get my eraser here. Go ahead and erase all my starting lines with. That I began with my pencil, right? That square that we used to get us started, that can go away. I hope yours came out. I'll bet, bet it came out nicer than mine. Sometimes I do these videos and I hurry myself a little bit and I go a little bit too fast because I don't want to make the videos too long. I want you to be able to hang with me, right? So sometimes I go too fast and I make a mistake like I forgot to put in his other side right here, a little fin on that side, see? <clears throat> but I'll bet yours came out really cool. And I forgot to ink my little sand at the bottom, so I'll go ahead and do that. I've got a little desk broom. See that? I can brush off all those eraser crumbs from the paper like having a broom all right and then yeah just some little indication of sand on the floor of the ocean kind of help it out here that was kind of fun wasn't it a whale what is your school's mascot maybe you could draw a cartoon of that Right? Maybe it's some kind of a cat or a dog or a wolf. You could draw it. This is for Westview, so I'm gonna draw right in right here. West View Whales. And I spelled whales wrong. Now if I were going to the country of whales, I would spell it like that. <laughs> but it's not spelled like that, Mr. Dave. It's whales. <laughs> How about that? That's a place. That's an animal, right? <laughs> there you have it, the Westview whale and his friend, the little narwhal. I hope you had fun today with me, drawing along, creating our whale character. All right, my friends, if you could, please stay safe, be well, and take care of one another. Till next time.